Now, going over to the culture part of the podcast, you have Harrison Butker, the base Chiefs kicker, endorsing Donald Trump. Now, this comes to us thanks to you, leading report. And there you can see him, not suited up, was it uh, gowned up at the graduation? He was a famous kicker, which is a position in the sports balls known as football. But in all seriousness, his proclamation of fame, he really became, you know, really controversial. When is it? Earlier this year, he had an acceptance or a speech at graduation, in which he noted the importance, you know, most important things you can do if you're a uh, your lady is have a child become a mother it's one of the most well, i was gonna say it's vital to society was well i would say it's probably the most fulfilling thing since the dawn of time and that most people ever feel is being a mother and then also being a father as well and they roasted him because obviously on you know, mainstream media for decades it said you know the number one thing is a career especially for a woman like mm, you can always get a job kids on the other hand well not so much those are very precious moments one of these days, eh, and obviously I think it's one of those natural things that most people want. On average, they would love to have that privilege. Not everyone does, but yeah, people started to ridicule him and roast him after that. And as youth might say, he's become based and he's now officially endorsed Donald Trump for president. Now, I had this kind of topic a couple weeks ago when, you know, Taylor Swift endorsed Kamala Harris, which granted she has a whole career of making songs out of bad choices. But nevertheless, I really debate how much celebrity endorsements really matter. I mean, I think some people on the right are especially excited because in terms of celebrities, it's pretty weird to have them come out and support anything conservative these days. I mean, you could probably name them on two, you could probably count them on two hands. Now, in terms of, you know, Hollywood and the media, historically speaking, they've been Democrats for decades. It's not too surprising when they have their endorsements. But I really wonder, like, I mean, it's interesting he's doing this, but, and in terms of his career, it's not going to hurt him either way because, again, it's a kicker on a sports ball team. He's not selling a product directly to the end user. Or like he's not making music or book maybe he has a book by now but he's not selling um, business to consumer kind of business model he's you know entertainment and he's on the team it's not just him selling individual sports balls ticket so i don't think he's actually impact his career too much one way or the other until maybe he starts selling as a podcast or something like that but it is interesting i mean more and more celebrity endorsements he's a you know people he's a huge part of the culture people love sports balls especially in the united states i had to do some research apparently the chiefs is a sports balls team I'm only partially kidding. I could probably name three players off the top of my head. I can tell you a lot more about the IT infrastructure of like sports ball teams, but I, and their history and their profitability as business, but I partially digress. And we're moderately, moderately viral. I got a little under 2,000 views, as well as 23,000 likes. And one of the first comments comes from AKA saying this is huge, although it's in all comments. So when I read that, I immediately think Donald Trump saying, This is huge. I got the best endorsement. Who gives me the quarterback? I got the kicker. He kicks the ball through the hoops. I mean, the post. I mean, I'm pretty sure Donald Trump would say something, probably to that effect. That got 81 likes. Not me, but, you know, AKA saying that. Libercat Media TM says, a champion endorsing another champion. Love to see it gain 46 likes. The drunk idiot said the Swifties aren't going to like this, gain 239 likes, which uh, I really don't think those audiences are the same. I, I'm not sure how many Swifties, I mean, not average, I don't know how many Swifties actually, Swifties actually watch the, the sports balls. Incidentally enough, I went on a date a couple months ago and about not liking a dad joke i told a girl you know, talking about like brand endorsements i was really impressed that you know, i was trying to be funny trying keyword i was like oh yeah you know swifties i, I can't believe taylor swift is such a successful i mean i see her at walmart all the time she's a very successful entrepreneur i see that cleaning product the swifter you know that i mean she's how many billions is she making off that and girl's like what's that i'm like well taylor swift swifty surely she invented the swiffer mop that's why she's so famous and girl's like no she's a musician i'm like is she and uh yeah that joke fell flat on his it, face about it's about as successful as Joe Biden climbing upstairs. Let's put it that way. Um, as a second date did not precede that one. I'll just say that much. But going back to the main comment section, you also have IKA Barlow saying Mahomes going to be passing to him LMFAO. 62 likes. Bruce Blau also says Smart Dude King 47 likes. Mason White 91 says That's my kicker right there. Go Chiefs getting 60 likes. Right Wave Press says A man of God behind the people and the local candidate for president getting 79 likes. See. Providence 76 says Trump is going to win, getting three likes. American Sublime says Mark Safe from being offended by Harrison Butker graduation speech, getting five likes. Yeah, people went crazy over that. Had the, had the audacity to talk about the importance of motherhood and God, which again also shows how far the left and Democrats have gone extreme left a couple of years. I mean, shoot, why get the clock a couple of decades? Most people in politics and culture, we were a much more religious society, especially in the United States at that time. Uh, unfortunately, it's been decreasing dramatically throughout the past couple of years, which I think is a, a big variable in terms of the cultural decline in the United States. Now, going back, let's see if there's any contrarian I don't see any contrarian comments. I'm scrolling all the way down. 
Deep A says, awesome, we need more people like him coming forward to endorse Trump getting nine likes. Let's see. Zion Darkwood says, breaking, no one cares. We did find a country in statement, got six likes as well. Let's see. A lot of people saying he's a smart man, he's getting, eh, now that we're getting to the zero and five likes. A lot of people just saying, hell yeah, smart man, trending, they're saying that. And we got another one. Luke Ryan says, no good. He, he didn't get like, but he did get seven views. Not to brag, one of my videos last week got eight views. And they're the best, obviously. All about quality or quantity. And if you're a repeat person who's tuning in, especially appreciate it. So, eh, I mean, again, mostly people endorsing it. But again, I also I think it's fascinating just because, you know, culture from the podcast, this didn't get like 58 million views. It wasn't that, you know, wasn't that, wasn't really that big of a deal. And I think culturally speaking, on average, I think less and less Americans are caring about celebrity endorsements of most things. And I think hopefully more people just do research in terms of like what candidate they're going to vote for and maybe have actual policies they you know agree with, ideally. So it's an educated vote. Maybe I'm being too optimistic for that last part. But let me know. Do you think do you think this moved the needle at all in terms of you know, getting a couple more people to you know, maybe vote for Donald Trump or maybe he alienated some of his current fan base so they won't buy another sports ball ticket? Let me know in the comments because, as always, be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, I really appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make sure better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.